Warning, if you are a person who has entomophobia or arachnophobia, a person who is afraid of insects and arachnids, then this video is not for you. You have been warned. Arthropods and insects are one of the planet's oldest animals that have ever lived. They're older than sharks and crocodiles. They're even older than the coelacanths. But some of them were big and scary. Here are 12 of the biggest and terrifying looking insects and arachnids. Number 12, Mega Arachne. Okay, to make things clear, Mega Arachne is not a dying spider, but a urtrid. So while technically walking with monsters did lie to us, it's not really their fault by default. Poor Mega Arachne has been mistaken for a spider for the last 30 years. That's why when first discovered, his name literally means giant spider, but Megarachne was still a big arthropod nonetheless. It was around 54 centimeters long, or 1.8 feet long. Because he's often mistaken as a spider, is the reason why he's low on the list. Number 11, Sorrel Fifteris. Now, there's not too much about this arthropod, other than the fact that it was a giant flea from the early Cretaceous China, and could have sucked out the blood of pterosaurs. Kind of like most fleas do with bats today. Sorrel Pteris is said to be one inch long, so he is the smallest, biggest other pot on this list, if that makes any sense. Number 10, Titanomirma. If you've seen this bug before, then odds are you either play Ark Survival Evolve or watched Walking with Bees, or a swarm ate that poor little Gastornis hatchling. I'll admit, that still creeps me out to this day. Titanomirma used to live in Germany and Wyoming during the early through middle scene epoch. Now thankfully, these ants aren't that big like they are in Ark, but they were around the same size as they were in Walking with Beasts. Male Titanomiras were around 1.2 inches long, and the queens were around 2.4 inches, with a wingspan of 5.9 inches. If you don't think that's big, then let me put this in your perspective for you. That's the same size as a hummingbird. Can you imagine a giant flying ant that big coming at you? Number 9. Isotelus rex. Trilobites are pretty well known prehistoric creatures, but most people think that they couldn't get any bigger as they already are. Well, they'd be wrong. The biggest trilobite species was called Isotelus rex, or Irex. It lived during the middle to late Ordovician period and can be found in Manitoba, Quebec, and Ontario. The trilobite was first found in Churchill, Manitoba. In 1999, Irex was around 28 inches long and 16 inches wide. Now keep that in mind, the average size of a trial bike is 0.04 inches long. Now think about that. Number 8, Plumonoscorpus. Like Titanomira, this arachnid made an appearance in Ark Survival Evolved and in an episode 5 of Prehistoric Park. Plumonoscorpus hails from Scotland and like most insects, and arthropods on this list, it comes from the Carboniferous period. Now, there's a bit of a debate going on on that Plumonoscorpus' stinger may or may not have venom. It could be a possibility, but no one knows for sure at this point. Now thankfully, Plumonoscorpius wasn't as big as a car like it is an arc. In reality, Plumonoscorpius is 28 inches long. Now that's still big, but not big enough to stab you in the chest, divorce style. Number 7. Pronto Scorpio, another Scorpio on this list, but this one is more amphibious than Plumano Scorpius. Now, despite its appearance, Pronto Scorpio is actually closely more related to Mario Scorpions than to the Eucharids. How are they different? Well, I might have to make a different video on that in the near future, but other than that, there's nothing else about Pronto Scorpio other than it's from Worcestershire, England during the late Silurian period, and it was around 35 inches long. Number 6. Anomalocaris. When life on Earth began, Anomalocaris came to be the planet's first apex predator. Anomalocaris preyed on early fish, trilobites, and anything that had any hard armor. Anomalocaris can be found in China, Canada, the United States, and Australia. Plus, Anomalocaris dates back to the early to middle Cambrian periods and was around 3.3 feet long. Number 5. Ajiro Kessis. After Alamo Karis died out, another member of its kind came in. 
meet the bigger and slightly more bizarre looking Arnold Carrot, Agiro Cases. But unlike his earlier cousin, Agiro Cases was a filter feeder, and it was probably the first filter feeder on the planet. Now, it gets its name from the sea giant in Norse mythology, Agir, and its head carapace does look like a helmet. You gotta admit it. Agiro Cases lived in Morocco during the early Caribbean period and was around 6.6 .6 feet long. Number 4. J. Kiel Apteris. Now, in some of my videos, I've always mentioned a few sea scorpions or two, but one has to wonder what was the biggest reptrid on the planet. Meet J. Kiel Apteris, the biggest sea scorpion on the planet. Fossils of this reptrid were first found in Germany, and they can be dated back to the early Devonian period. Along with Pterygotus, J. Kiel Apteris could have shared the same diet with Pterygotus, which included small placoderms and other arthropods. J. Kiel Apteris was around 8.2 feet long. That's all the same size as a female American alligator. Number 3. Meganeropsis. After Carboniferous period was over, giant insects still exist. Meganeropsis was still a living example of giant surviving insects. It belonged to a group called griffinflies, which are a close relative of modern day dragonflies. Now, fossils of this griffinfly can be found in Kansas and Oklahoma, and it is dated back to the late Permian period. Meganeropsis had the body length of 17 inches and the wingspan of 28 inches long. Number 2. Meganeura. During the Carboniferous period, giant insects and arthropods used to rule the planet thanks to the Earth's oxygen at the time. One of these giants is Meganeura, a close relative of Meganeropsis. It was not only Earth's biggest insect, but it was the first flyer on the planet. Its diet usually consists of other insects and small primitive reptiles. Meganeura can be found in Western Europe and had a wingspan of 29 inches long. That's all the same size as a peregrine falcon. Imagine that coming at you. Now since this list has both other pods and insects, Meganeura takes a spot as the biggest insect on the list. So congratulations. Number 1. Arthropleura. Meganeura was the ruler of the Carboniferous skies, but Arthropleura was a king of the Carboniferous land, and it is titled as the largest arthropod on the planet. Now, Arthropleura has gained some recognition over the years because of its size, like in Walking with Monsters and Prehistoric Park, along with Plumonoscorpus and Meganeura. It also appeared in Ark Survival Evolved, along with its Carboniferous brethren. Now, despite its size and its appearance, there is evidence in Arthropleura's corpolite that the arthropod had eaten plants, so thankfully, it's a herbivore. And fossils of these guys can be found in Eastern North America and Scotland. Arthropleura was around 1.6 feet wide and was around 8.5 feet long. It could look a full grown man right in the eye. You're gonna need a bigger boot for this one. So, congratulations, Arthropleura for being the biggest and terrifying looking arthropod on this list. 